But then we would also catch another CSX Heritage locomotive. If you all do not know what this one's gonna be, this one is technically the Monon Heritage Unit 1897. It would have been leading 510 to go to Detroit, Michigan from Cincinnati. Day before, however, it was trailed on L423 with the Seaboard Heritage also. Sadly, I did not get to see that since it was not in my area. However, the Modon is leading 510, which is coming through the Toledo area. So, that's the reason why I'm out this evening. And also catching some other trains here and there too. Should be in Pennsylvania, not in like Toledo area. What the heck? What the heck? Well, that is weird. Wow. Literally after a coal train went north, the helper sets from like El Tuna area came to Toledo area I was like shocked but then within 15 more minutes later we get an eastbound manifest was a KCS Jeevo 12 inch second going toward Conway or either that above the Ohio I'm not sure what the symbol on that one would be for but if I would have guessed, that probably would have been 12N, or that, 380. There's also a 338, that's also wanting the Chicago line now. So, it could be either. If you can see, the 510 has been going back and forth on the north end of the yard. I would actually get the camcorder to zoom in at that point. The cam will look like it's a little bit shaky because it was actually a little bit of windy. Now we're basically here at Wobbly. 
Maybe because I thought maybe we would catch it here, since we probably won't be able to get it figures. I thought this one would have been it too, but I was wrong. This is basically the yard switcher that would switch around the yard, Wabbage, Ohio, with Wabbage Yard. But basically, 510 would have been stuck in the middle of the yard somewhere where we couldn't basically see it. I was debating on, like, just going around the yard, see if I could find it. I ended up not doing that. This solo GE unit, 7023, just started up by a crew, and now they're gonna get their train built. While we get here, 510, the Monon, pulling up north from the yard. It would have been cool to get some really nice still pictures and video. I ended up getting some pretty good pictures, but the thing is though, I did not have a tripod out, so I just had to do handheld with the camcorder and with the one hand and my DSLR on the other. So technically, I thought they would have been departing by now, but then I forgot I saw some cut that was left on the main, thinking that they would have been departing by now without that cut. Well, about that, they would have to back up into their other cut they would left on the main. So, all the pacing I wanted to do and chasing went like downhill. At least I saw the train before it went into dark. It was around like almost 8 o'clock at night. And they were pulling up at first. I thought they would have been departing by now. I was wrong. But, anywho. The night ended up turning out being good. At least I saw the unit, but hey, that's 7 out of the 12 that I need to see.
I'll get to that list in a future video or whatever. But anywho, I have every single equipment I could be using for my pacing. But, oh well, whatever. At least I got to see it tonight. Thank you for watching. I'll see you all. Michigan or State or the Buckeye State Wells. But the rest of the video will be my outro and the defect detectors at Erie, Michigan. CFX Equipment Defect Detector. File post 122.4. Track 1. CFX Equipment Defect Detector. File post 122.4. Track 1. No defects. No defects. Total axle 500. Zero, zero. End of transmission.